we are continuously learning new things and exploring the world around us. Whether it's in the deepest caves or the most ancient societies, the mysteries of the world continue to develop and get uncovered piece by piece. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three interesting discoveries. A 100-year-old cave in Hawaii is discovering new life forms. July 2022 saw a discovery from Hawaii, as researchers believe that they may have found the smallest living organisms on Earth. We don't yet have a whole host of information available to us regarding these organisms, but we do know that their presence is somewhat unexpected. Lava caves in Hawaii, some of which are centuries old, have formed an intricate network of tunnels and caves under the surface. These are the leftover scars of volcanic processes hundreds of years in the past. As you can imagine, these dark, cold caves are filled with various toxins and minerals that do not seem as though they could support healthy life forms. But these extremophile microbes, dubbed by the media as the smallest living organisms on Earth, seem to be thriving in these conditions. Researchers recently stumbled across these groups of microbes living within the volcanic vents. These are rather mysterious creatures, and there is a good chance that there are many more lying in wait, undiscovered and waiting to be found. Some have asked that if these organisms have been able to survive in lava tubes for up to 800 years, what other conditions could they survive in? And could they last in extraterrestrial conditions as tough as those on Mars? These microbes seem to be somewhat adaptable, playing host to a very diverse population. It has been said that the change in their environmental structure is reflected in a change of their own social ones too. Active caves see a landscape in which the microbes can grow together, though in older caves, the microbes have been observed to cover volcanic basalt, and in the harshest conditions, they are not afraid to compete with one another, making different environments more habitable. This serves as a reminder to those in scientific fields that microbes must be studied alongside one another and their surroundings, looking at the impact of co-culture and not simply in a lab and in isolation. These organisms interact and take on roles dependent on what the scenario requires of them. This discovery is truly exciting, with an adaptable tiny species being found defying all odds given their environment. Oldest Pyramids Found in Brazil When we think of pyramids, for most of us, they are confined to ancient Egypt, or at least that is what we might initially think of. Archaeologists uncovered what we still believe to be the oldest pyramids we know of back in 1996. Just off the Atlantic coast of southern Brazil lies a series of ancient pyramids, seemingly built as part of a religious practice, much like those we know a bit more about in Egypt and in Mexico. Within them, experts have uncovered hundreds of remains, telling us more about human burial practices. Much like many who were laid to rest within pyramids, the deceased have been sent off into the afterlife well prepared, with several different items accompanying them within these very grand graves. Some of the artifacts uncovered by the archaeological team includes stone plaques, shell breastplates, and small models crafted from stone of birds, fish, and whales, amongst a few other animals. We can see here that there is a great deal of similarity between the pyramids built in Egypt and those seen in Brazil, with them acting as a place to lay the deceased to rest with a grand send-off. Despite their function being somewhat the same, it's important to remember that at the time the pyramids were constructed, there was no communication between the two countries, no way for one community to see the practices of the other, and that the idea of pyramids was nearly simultaneously yet independently constructed. This is certainly a coincidence worth exploring further. The Brazilian pyramids have been found to date back to 3000 BC, meaning that the oldest Brazilian pyramids are a few centuries older than those we see in Egypt. While it's true that these pyramids had a striking resemblance in function to those we know of in Egypt and elsewhere, their execution was vastly different. We can see that the construction of the pyramids differs drastically, with those in Brazil being built in a number of phased stages, with one pyramid's build stretching over lifetimes, taking decades or sometimes even centuries to complete. Egyptian pyramids, on the other hand, were built in one swift undertaking. Yes, it was a long process, but it was completed in one marked effort. 
The biggest difference is not the time scale of this building project, but rather the construction materials. We are all familiar with the stone look of the Egyptian pyramids taking on a classic and iconic appearance. The concept of a pyramid does not end there, and it's certainly not so confined, with the Brazilian pyramids being built solely out of seashells. This less than usual construction material forms part of why archaeologists glazed over precisely what these structures are for so long. Many Brazilian prehistorians simply saw them as impressively large piles of domestic rubbish, left behind by various settlements, never quite realizing what a feat that lay before them. Research that was looking at delving into the so-called ancient rubbish is what led the team to realize what it was they were looking at. The square structures on the ground space and the somewhat tapered tops did resemble the pyramid design that we are used to. The initial research conducted revealed that some of the structures spanned 37 acres and reached a staggering 160 feet in height, all made from seashells. This makes the volume of these structures significantly larger than those young pyramids seen in Egypt, and their height is not too far off either. Due to the lack of conservation effort, it is estimated that we only have 10% of the structures surviving, all of which are in their own various stages of decay. Archaeologists have hypothesized that there were originally around 1,000 Brazilian pyramids, some of them reaching back to 5,000 years old. It was between 1920 and 1960 that these pyramids suffered a true setback in their state of preservation. Several of the pyramids were used as resources, taking the shells as a means to aid road construction and gather other raw materials. One of the largest remaining Brazilian pyramids can be seen near the town of Jaguaruna, in Santa Catarina. This is 100 feet high and spans 25 acres, but it is said to have once stood 65 feet taller. Some research even indicates that, not dislike Mexican pyramids, the pyramids seen in Brazil also saw structures on top of them. It's truly fascinating to see how millennia apart, different communities were conducting similar practices and rituals in the name of culture, tradition, and faith. It's a shame to see how history gets lost in translation, with once grand and proud structures being viewed by a modern audience as piles of rubbish. Ice core pulled from Antarctica contains air that's 5 million years old. Antarctica is quite literally the bottom of the world, the other side and tucked far away. Given the harsh climate, researching exactly what goes on there has not always been easy, and our technology is only somewhat recently catching up enough for us to truly begin to unravel the mystery of the Southern Hemisphere's Antarctica. In August 2022, news came of a discovery revealing a piece of the Antarctic past, as an ice core containing samples of the Earth's atmosphere from 5 million years ago. Researchers drilled and pulled out ice cores in Antarctica in an attempt to study air bubbles that have been trapped in the ice. These air bubbles act as small time capsules that can tell us about the Earth's atmosphere and what it was like when these air bubbles were formed. Some of these date back millions of years, though this new study saw a sample retrieved from the Ong Valley that dates back for 5 million years. This sample from the Ong Valley marks a transition in where researchers have been drilling. Previously, the team has pulled core samples from the eastern areas of Antarctica, as the ice there has slowly been added in cleaner layers over hundreds of lifetimes. For this new study, however, the Ong Valley was chosen. This is an area in the Transantarctic Mountains, a terrain that separates the east and the west of this frozen desert. The ice seen in the Ong Valley is the result of glaciers sliding from the mountains. This leaves behind a layer of rock protecting the ice below. The addition of the glacier ice means that there is a huge range observed, with the initial isotope testing revealing an age range from 5 million years old to just 3 million. But what did this research reveal? The 5 million year old air can show us the changes in the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, with a lot more being added since the start of the Industrial Revolution. The changing impact we are having upon the environment being visible through the progression of these air bubbles is truly fascinating, but also highly concerning. We need to take better care of our planet, 
Even the ice can see that. But what are your thoughts of these new discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.